Yes guys, welcome back to Alpha Plug. Uh, the sponsor of this video is Revo Real Estate. If you want to invest your money in Dubai, Revo Real Estate is the place for you. Today I'm joined by the one and only Ashid Wet. How are you doing today, Ashid? I'm very good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you, I'm good. Can you tell us what happened yesterday at the press conference with your <laughs> co co like altercation with... Um, <laughs> there was a little bit of craziness going on. Uh, I was just stood waiting to... I thought I was going to be pulled up on stage or onto the little podium to say a few words. Uh, but whilst I was stood there waiting, uh, some girl came out, her name was Alexia Grace, uh, she's on TikTok, uh, and threw a whole bucket of water over me so yeah it, there was a little bit of a scrap I did manage to punch her square in the face um, would have been harder if there wasn't four security guards dripping me off of her but I did manage to land a punch uh, and yeah it was just a little bit crazy yeah 100% I can, I can agree um, I know you're probably sick of this right now but do you see the, the fight with Al Brook maybe happening in the, in the future or not Oh uh, yeah I've answered this quite a lot I mean at the beginning yes I wanted to fight her and I've called her out a lot of times but with the weight difference it's it's really difficult now I think she's she's avoiding the fight without kind of avoiding the fight you know she's at 62 kg I fight at 51 kg you know that's a 10 kg difference yeah. you know there's weight classes in boxing for a reason uh, so it's just not realistic unless she comes back down um, so yeah we'll see I don't know if, we, if it was to happen I don't think it should happen anytime soon um, so we'll see we'll see how it goes yeah 100% um, there's four girls fighting on Saturday night is there anyone you like you're keeping an eye on or not I'm keeping my eye on Kimchi, uh, mainly because I did get to know her a little bit whilst I was in LA a few weeks ago. Um, she has got a spark in her. She hasn't been doing it for very long, but she's got a little bit. She's a little bit crazy, so I'm excited to see what she's going to bring. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And can I get your prediction, please, for KSI versus Joe Fournier? Yeah, I've said this a few times that KSI is very tactical and he's very smart with the decisions that he makes in the ring and I'm not really sure if Joe is going to expect that. Um, so yeah, it might take him off guard, I'm not really sure. Obviously Joe's a professional boxer so he might be able to figure that out very quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure. I think KSI will win, I'm just not sure whether it will be on points or if it will be, I don't know what the outcome will be, I just think it will win. Yeah, it's definitely a tough fight to call. Uh, can I get your prediction for Daddy vs Swarms as well please? Another tough one. Swarms has worked very hard. Like I saw his transformation yesterday. I put it. He put it on his Instagram. Um, you don't get to this point without that, like that hard work. Like your body transformation. You've worked hard for that. But then obviously Deji's with amazing trainers because he's KSI's brother, and he's obviously been working very hard as well. I know he really wants to, you know, be, do good in the boxing scene, seeing as he didn't do that well to start. So again, a really another tough one to call. But I'm going to go with Deji. Yeah. And finally, Saul Pappy versus Andy Taylor. How do you see that going down on Saturday night? This one confuses me. I literally have no idea because they're just completely opposite. There's completely different boxing styles to each other. Um, so it's a really, really hard one to call. It really depends on how it goes at the night. I think if Saul Pappy can land that good shot, he'll knock Anthony out. But if Anthony is just an absolute ball that he is and just comes forward and hits him with a good few shots, then I don't know. So. I'm going to go with salt, but I really don't know. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time, Astrid, and enjoy the rest of the week. Thank you for having me.